Come garage sailing with me. It is raining, it's pouring, but we had to drive out of town to go to my son's football game. And since he had to be here early, I have about half an hour and I drove by what is looks like maybe like a little bit of a garage sale flea market type thing. And they have a couple of tables covered up with a tarp, but I see a lot of items sitting out also, um, like glass items, which the rain won't hurt. So I am going to uh, poncho up and um, go see if I can find something cool. And I'm wearing a poncho because my family took all of my umbrellas. Moms always get the short draw. Let's get to it. Hi, are you picking everything up? Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind if I look around? Everything's free. Left oh, out here. So if you okay. find something you can use, bring your own boxes, but yeah, <laughs> tote them up. Even when I find out things are for free, I still struggle just taking anything and everything. I did think this magnifying glass was really cute though, and it would be really cute to decorate with, as well as this little Avon dish. I have one just like it I got for Easter, and so I might as well grab it to have a backup. I also really liked this brass piece and thought I might be able to clean it up. I didn't notice the crack until I got home though. This little lantern also caught my eye. I haven't really looked at it closely. I think it might be a pencil sharpener. I was getting poured on, so I just was kind of grabbing and going. I thought this was really cute, mainly because it's sealed and it came with the little spoon. So for my kitchenette, that would be perfect. And I definitely don't need any more salt and pepper shakers, but I saw these little lantern ones. I've seen them before and I've passed, but they're just so cute. And so today was the day they came home with me. Home was never like this. I didn't understand this. I thought it might be cute for my trinket shelf, but it seemed depressing. And I won't tell you what I think this looks like, but I'm going to say it's a double shot glass. And about that time, he brought me a container um, to put some stuff in. Even though he told me I needed to have my own box, I was going to go back to the car and get my bag, but I put it in the container instead. I collect bottles to decorate with for Halloween, and some of these already had labels on them, like the alcohol bottle as well as this one, which was a medicine bottle. This one also had a prescription on it, um, and it was full of little gaskets or something. But I really just want the bottle, so um, I grabbed a couple of those. And then I saw the Avon area. Um, a lot of Avon ones with the label were ruined, unfortunately. But then there were these smaller ones that I've never seen before. And they're not as cute because they're not these kitschy shapes. But I still think that they might be really pretty in my Avon perfume collection. And so I did grab a couple of them. And I probably normally would have passed on this large owl Avon bottle because it is silver, but um, I don't. I still love owls, and who knows? I might circle back to silver someday. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I contemplated these copper salt and pepper shakers for a long time. They were definitely more of a pink color now, and I almost got them, but I just decided that the lids were just too dinged up, and so I ended up putting them back. Although I think they'd be really cute around Easter. And then I found this little blue container. I don't know if it's Avon, but it definitely looks like one of the Avon containers that I already have. So I decided to grab it. And then this tiny little wrench was just so cute. I thought I might be able to fit it on my trinket shelf. So I grabbed it as well. So those were all of my findings out in the rain. Would 10 be okay? Oh, for, yes, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks for stopping. I think he felt bad because I was offering and he had already told me it was free. And so he did go ahead and lift the tarp for a few other things. Found out that things have been sitting out overnight um, and it rained all night. So no wonder everything's so wet. But I did get, I need to wipe it off. This little happy birthday to you book. I just love the color of it. The spine is rough, but I do love the color of it. And it's getting a little wet now. Um, basically, it just has like birthday information. It's like a perpetual birthday calendar. And so it has little information about each birthday. And then someone wrote some names in there of people who had birthdays that day, which is really cute. But um, I just thought that that was really neat. And then I thought this little Tums container was really pretty and cute and would be really cute on my trinket shelf. So thanks for coming along, guys.